Howdy friends, welcome back. My name is Wes Lee. I'm a professional band instrument repair technician. I started a YouTube channel to show what my life is like in the trades. I appreciate you stopping by. I've appreciated all the support for watching all of the videos and people that reach out, and make comments, likes, and shares. That's always very cool to see. We certainly appreciate it. New Year's Eve 2024. 2023 has been a grind. Been a long year, been a hard year, been a good year. So we'll take it. We're going to continue to move forward. I'm going to get one more video in. My family's about to do their thing. I've been working straight through. So I'm about to, to go off the grid for maybe 20 hours. And then I'll be back. Let's take care of a couple of housekeeping things. If you're looking for a technician to do work, check out Napbert, N-A-P-B-I-R-T dot O-R-G. That's the website for the National Association of Professional Band Instrument Repair Technicians. On that page, you will find a resources tab in a drop down menu and it will say tech locator. I suggest you use that to find a technician in your area and then interview them. There are a lot of great techs out there. I just happen to be one of many. Our number is shrinking. There are fewer people going into the trades and I'm hoping that showing these videos will encourage other folks to go into the trades. The number one way to get into the trades is to go to trade school. Most apprenticeships don't happen anymore. At least they do not happen in my area. If you're looking for an apprentice and you're a technician, put it in the comments. There are a lot of people looking for jobs. There are a lot of people looking for apprenticeships. I'm not taking on any. I'm also not taking on any work. I'm not taking on any work outside of my area. I really appreciate you reaching out to me about doing work. I appreciate you letting me know how much you enjoy the passion of my work. It makes me feel good. I try to answer all my emails um, and phone calls. I don't get to everyone. Stuff slips through the cracks. It's just the way it is. I'm, a, I'm one person with my great sidekick of Miss K. All that being said, we're gonna get back on this bugle. I'm not gonna talk very much because I've got a timeline I was told what time I have to be home. I hope you had a great Christmas and holiday season. I hope you have a wonderful New Year's. Stay safe, but have a great time. I'll catch you in 2024, and we'll be doing more work. Thanks, everybody. All right, back to our bugle bell. We got really severely smashed bell rim, some dents. This really worries me. Let's see if we can zoom this in. The brass is really stretched here, and if you look at this spot, and I'll try to zoom that in even more, we could have the start of a tear right there. There's some real precarious damage on this. So what I'm going to do is I've already got the solder joint wiped down to tinning. I'm going to buff this off. I'm going to heat all around this dent. I'm probably not going to take it to cherry red, but I am going to make it a little more malleable for us. So we've got some damage all through here. So I'm going to buff this with a triple E compound, and then we'll get started on our dent work. through it with the smallest mandrel that I can. I don't want to touch it with a hammer yet. I just want to straighten and pull the brass. Now I'm gonna to go to a larger size mandrel. Went to a much bigger mandrel. May or may not 
work to my advantage. Okay. Hearing aid, hearing protection. Take care of your ears so you don't get deaf like me. The dent cam is back. I'm gonna start with a rawhide mallet. I'm gonna start working this area that I was so concerned about. Trying to push these dents up. That's looking way better. Haven't hit it with a steel tool yet. But we're going to be okay. It's not going to crack. Let's put a little more heat on it. I'm gonna let the dent machine do the work for me.
looks pretty good. Let's get this straightened back up. Everything looks pretty good. I'm gonna get this buffed out. Not going to buff the logo. Never buff the logo. Stay away from it until your final passes with a buffing compound with the Jewelers Rouge. Never with a cutting compound. I'll show you my final results when I get done. You can see that's where my Sharpie line was. This is where our dent, this is where our dent was. Still got a little bit of waviness. I'll need to, since I polished it, I'll have to correct. But all in all, there's a little high spot right there. But you remember what it was before. Yep, I'm really pleased with this. I've got a little bit of finish work, looks like. I'm really happy with how straight that is. So our next, take care of this nasty flare. That's our next episode. Well, thanks everybody for following along. I'm real happy with the way this project is coming out. It's going to look great. Thanks again for all the support. Y'all have a happy and safe new year. I'll see you in 2024. This is Wesley signing out.